Hey crafties! I'm working in my craft closet today making this purse card for Mother's Day. So Mother's Day is coming up for those of us in the United States. We celebrate mothers, motherhood, all maternal bonds, no DNA necessary. So we'll be making this fun 3D card today. It's A2 size so it still fits in an envelope. Isn't this purse perfect? With the handle and the flap closure and the cute inside that looks like purse fabric. So this one will stand out on their table, maybe in front of any other cards from your siblings. So why don't we get started? So I'm gonna be using different DSP than I did for the sample. So this stuff is from Nature's Poem and this is Petal Pink cardstock. So I will have a list of the measurements on my blog in case you missed them here or in case you wanna prep and come on back to the video and then craft with me. All right, so let's create the purse shape first. So first we're gonna cut this at five and a half the long way. And we're gonna use just about every piece we have on this. Okay, that's five and a half. We're gonna make it five and a half by 10 and a half. Looks like we need another blade. There we go. And then this piece we cut off here this is going to be the top of the purse, the little flap. So we're going to cut this at five and a half. All right. Save this for the inside of the card, please. So why don't we go ahead and score these pieces? All right. So the actual purse here, we're going to score it three times. We're going to score it at four and a quarter, five and a quarter, and six and a quarter. So let's get our five and a quarter. Small spaces, am I right? Five and a quarter. Six and a quarter, and I'll just flip it over. There we go. Then you can fold it in half, and then you're gonna fold each side up. Isn't that nice? That's going to be your purse, and then this is your flap, and you're going to want a half inch flap on it. Let me cut this drag it off. All right, so a half inch, just so you can attach it to your purse. Okay, and you can put away your scoring blades. Why don't we go in a, ahead and attach this to your purse? Just whatever your tape runner, if you have score tape. I like to fold it over the front and then press it on back. Okay, so now we are going to cut our uh, front of the purse, this beautiful paper. Get everything to the side. So, magic of tech. TV, I already cut out. It's five and a quarter by four, five and a quarter by two and a quarter. So this is going to go on the front. This is going to go on the flap. But if you remember from my sample, I did do a rounded edge. So I do not have a corner rounder. I know, I know I need one. But I make my die cuts do double duty, so I cut out one of these stitched oval framelits and I just use it as a guide. So just put it up here and round that edge. <laughs> and this makes sure you have a consistently round edge for not only this, but also the DSP that you're putting on it. So we have the round edge there for our purse. And then we're going to want to round this edge too. Cut that away. This, this paper is so pretty. There we go. Oops. Of course, I'm always messy on videos. All right, so why don't we go ahead and glue our pieces down. Wow, the back of this is really pretty. Let me make with that next time. Just 
put it on the center of your car. And this one too, the top of your flap. If you see how it rounds together, it's at the same angle, it's really nice looking. Oops. Wish I had another hand sometimes when I craft. There we go. All right, so it's time now to work on the inside of the card. All right, so this will be our fabric. I think I'll turn it this way. So we're gonna want a piece for up here. It'll also help hold down your flap and a piece for down here. I think I want my strips vertical. No, horizontal, yeah. All right, so we're gonna need it five and a quarter by four. We need two of them. So I'm going to cut this I'm cut it four inches all the way down. And then five and a quarter. And five and a quarter again because we need two. All right. So we can just go ahead and adhere these down onto your purse card. This side has that tranquil tie color. Oh, it's my favorite. I'm going to miss it. Go right in the center on your purse card. always hard to make sure your patterns line up. There we go. All right, now on to a little stamping finally. Oh, no, we still need to cut the inside, don't we? So the little piece here, you know, that you put your sentiment or Happy Mother's Day or whatever, we can just use the three inches here and we will cut it at four and a quarter. Four and a half. Four and a half. Okay, now I think that's the last we need of our cutter. Yeah, that looks right. All right, so why don't we stamp? I'm using Blackberry Bliss. It matches with these colors and it's this purple. And here's a Happy Mother's Day stamp. It's from the Paper Pumpkin in May, the Sentimental Rose. This is a juicy one. It's a new one. Ooh, that's real juicy. Happy Mother's Day. All right. It's going to go right in the center here. So that's the inside of the purse. That's done. Now for the outside, we're going to take one of our uh, petal pink scraps. We don't have a lot left at this point, so go ahead and stamp mom or something. And I'm going to be using a die cut from the Stitched All Around set. Looks like this. Just go ahead and stamp mom down. And then we're going to go ahead and die cut this out with your die cutting machine. But the magic of TV, I already had that cut out. So we're going to go ahead and just use a little adhesive dot on the back of that. The day I cut my nails, right? There we go. I'm just going to put it in the corner like a little tag on a purse. All right, so now what's missing? Let's put the finishing touches on this. We need some twine for the handle. 
And with the Nature's Poem, they have this Blackberry Bliss twine. Just love it. You'll need about 14 inches of this stuff. Uh, looks about right. Yeah. So what I do, I'm going to wrap it around the inside of the flap. And then I'm going to make a little knot. to hold it secure and I'm notoriously terrible at bows but here we go all right we're gonna put it to the inside because you don't need to see that bow on the outside so that's gonna be your purse handle oh I made it a little longer than the last one and I'm just gonna put some more adhesive dots in here to hold your bow in place hold the twine doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of holds it there. It's a thin twine, so it's not going to take up a lot of space in your card. But really, the handle just definitely makes it the card. It looks like a cute little handbag. I feel like this card would be great, not just for Mother's Day, but any of our friends that like handbags for a birthday, maybe. Okay, and now, so these are little Velcro squares. I got these at the dollar store, but I know Joann's has strips of them, and they are sticky on both sides, but they are this Velcro. I don't need a big piece like this, so I'm just going to cut that in quarters so I can use it for other cards. Alright, so we're going to figure out where to put it. Peel off the adhesive backing. You know, I gotta learn not to cut my nails before I do videos. <laughs> there we go, there's one. Stick that where I want. Kind of leave a little room up there. And then peel off the other side sticky bit. And then make sure the card is even and then fold it down. Now you have a little Velcro flap. Oh, I almost forgot the final touch. We need, I put a sequin on this one, but you know what, this one I think needs a pearl. So why don't we go ahead and, and I want it to be petal pink. These white pearls, you can just color over them and make them whatever color you want. So we're going to just make it petal pink. It's subtle, but it's nice. All right. Peel it off. They're sticky. Right about there. Now, isn't that nice? Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay. So we made this handbag card for Mother's Day, but like I said, I think these would be also nice, you know, maybe put friend here, you know, like I did in the first example or even write out your friend's name, or with more masculine colors, maybe make a briefcase for Father's Day. I did this here with the Geared Up Garage set, and instead of the handbag handle, I made a more masculine um, handle made out of black cardstock and the stitch dies. Yeah, I thought that'd be nice for Father's Day. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know, leave a comment, subscribe. I would absolutely love that. Uh, if you need those measurements again, they're going to be on the blog. And thank you for crafting and find me at laurascraftcloset.com and happy crafting!